Hi there, my name's William Beebe. I'm at the Katia Greer Memorial Gallery at number six Raymond Street in Potsdam, New York. This is a show of my paintings and I just thought I would spend a little time with them on a video with the help of my friend Chris. I don't think I'm gonna show you every painting because I wanna make you curious about what the rest of the show is like. But uh, just a little walk around. Uh, Cut the video, Chris. Are we going? Yeah. Uh, this is the first really serious painting I ever did. Um, it's called Chalmuth Web. And what that means exactly, I'm not sure, except Chalmuth is supposed to sound sort of like a seaport town, like Portsmouth or Monmouth. Um, it was done with a brush. A lot, a lot of the paintings in the show were done with a drip technique. Um, those I had to lay on the ground. This I did uh, hanging from the rafters of uh, the garage loft at a house I used to own. It's, uh, it's an abstraction. It's not supposed to be of anything. But uh, the energy and the color and all, I hope, uh, does something for the viewer. That's okay. Let it go, Chris. It's recording. This is a painting called Margaret. I won't identify Margaret unduly. It's, uh, again, it was done mostly with, with a brush. There's some throwing of paint, but um, there's still the brushwork. We'll, uh, I'll show you some examples of the throne style. T-H-R-O-W-N, throne style, pretty soon. Uh, this is, again, with a brush. This is uh, called We Spoke of Providence. Now, it's interesting. If you look, I have to find it first. Oh, yes. There's a drip running here. And obviously, uh, the way the canvas was set up was like this. Uh, but after, uh, after I had done most of it, including letting that drip run down the canvas, I decided to turn it so, uh, so it looked like this. That's all, Chris. We uh, have some other stuff back here that's kind of interesting. I'm going to be difficult. I'm not going to show you these full on if you want to you want to come? Uh, yeah, Chris, would you come over here? I changed my mind. I want to give the people a good look at this. This is called One Day, and it was uh, mostly done with the throwing the paint. Um, it, could you go look over here, Chris? These, these are pretty nice. I like these. Um, this one here on the end is called Thicket. Uh, this is Grace Note, and this is Event. So, uh, let's see, hey, Chris, would you come this way? And, thanks. Uh, just going to pick up uh, these a little bit. This, I uh, want to show the people this one. This is uh, The Toils of Summer. A lot, a lot of people enjoy that one. Uh, would you cut it, Chris? Come over here a little more, would you? Thanks. This is a big one. This is, uh, here is summer. It's thrown paint. Uh, biggest uh, one I ever did. It's, uh, let me see. Five feet tall and four feet wide, so that's a good solid painting there. These on, on either side, this one is called Star Trails. And uh, over here, uh, I like this one a lot myself. This is just called Number Four. And um, again, it's the thrown paint, but it sort of puddled and ran in interesting ways. Uh, let's see, I think I'm, I'm going to do just a quick walk past these. Pretty big, aren't they? I like these. 
And I want to show you the, the only series. Come, come a bit over here, Chris. What do you think? Uh, this is the only real series in the show. This is the summertime and autumn number one. This is the summertime and autumn number three. And this is the summertime and autumn number four, which of course leaves out two. Now, summertime and autumn number two is another one that a lot of people like. And it's uh, sort of by it in a place for its own, place of honor by itself, which I'm going to show you now. That's over here. I did this before I really understood the, uh, the drip painting method. I thought you put all the colors on at once, which you don't. You, you lay down a web of one color and then you let it dry and went, lay down another one. This is the kind of pooling and puddling that, uh, well, is, like I say, is not quite the idea as the abstract expressionists practiced it, but it's, you know, an interesting technique by itself. Uh, cut the video, please, Chris. Well, I said I didn't want to show you too much, so I think this is about it. So here, flanked by my peace symbol poster, which was part of some real peace demonstrations in a few years ago. And over here is uh, Arica, named for a princess of a magical land and one of my favorite Japanese comic books. So, flanked here by the peace symbol in Arica, and with very great thanks to my good friend Chris Lanthier on the camera, I'll say goodbye.